Southwest Bridgewater is a small town located in Massachusetts. We are part of the Plymouth County and we were settled in 1651. West Bridgewater is a real community. Um, when there's success or when there's tragedy, people come together, they unite, they're there for each other. So it's definitely the people that make West Bridgewater what it is. West Bridgewater is a town known for its close-knit community. As a small town, we come together to provide a safe and welcoming community. Anthony Kinahan, the chairman of the Board of Selectmen, talks more about the town of West Bridgewater. I've been a selectman for three years now. The board's role is really to set policy and provide an overall direction to the town. The public library has recently had, or over the past couple of years, had a transformation. Um, it went from becoming outdated to becoming a library of the future. The library is not just a place to check out books anymore. Now they have many different opportunities for people of all ages to discover. I interviewed the library director to find out more about the changes in the library. She also mentioned what upcoming events and weekly activities there are. So I see the library as a place where you can explore new things. On a weekly basis, we have a bunch of cool things. We have laughter yoga, which is an adult laughter session, which I'm proud to say we have a very stalwart group of about um, six adults. And we just spend half an hour laughing. I do little prompt. We do little prompts, and and then we just laugh. And it's very healthy. It's kind of part of. It's called laughter yoga because we use a lot of prahayana breathing, and then laughing is very healthy. Infant story time. It's, it's actually movement music and books. Three times a week we do passports. That's a new service that we've been providing. People have been loving it. Uh, we, I get oh, the, our, my entire staff has been trained by the State Department on how to how to process passports. Then for um, children um, on Fridays we do what we call Makerspace Friday, which is hands-on manipulatives. We're doing a lot of things with electronic circuitry. Eric Benson was the principal of West Bridgewater Middle Senior High School for 21 years. Mr. Benson attended the Howard High School as a student and his picture is placed in the retro room of West Bridgewater Middle Senior High School. Also, much of his memorabilia is in the West Bridgewater Museum. I was principal of the West Bridgewater Junior Senior High School from 1972 to 1993. I graduated from then Howard High School, which became West Bridgewater High School. I graduated in 1952. Um, discipline was a big issue. Mm. Um, there was a lot of unexpected freedom in the school at the time. Um, and that's part of what I was brought in to do. Is I think it's built for the time, meaning for the type of activity that takes place today in the schools, the type of technology that uh, is available to the students and to the faculty. It's modern, and that's the way it should be. I think one, one uh, guiding point is that a lot of people want to send their youngsters to West Bridgewater from other communities. I think that speaks volumes uh, in the, that is the reputation. Miss Childs is an involved member of the First Church on Howard Street. She was able to tell the story of the First Church from when it was established in 1651. There are so many interesting secrets that people don't know about the First Church, but Miss Child told us. Well, the society started um, in 1601. There was no place to worship at that time, so it was felt that due to the piety of the settlers that they probably held their first worship services in their homes. The location of the first meeting house built of logs in 1661 is disputed, but it probably faced the river near the present intersection of River and Arch Streets. Oral tradition says that the first minister preached his first sermon from Pulpit Rock near the Town River in Town Park. The first settled minister was the Reverend James Keith. He served for 55 years until his death in 1719. He was given a plot of land for his home, and that parsonage is still standing on River Street. There were three doors. The center door is for members. One door, I'm not sure if it's left or right, one was for non-members, and the other door was for the uh, African Americans or slaves. So the fourth church building is the one that we're in now. It was built in 1801. 
The older meeting house was then refurbished and used for town meetings until it was taken down in 1823. And there is a quote from a Bridgewater book in 1908 that for nearly 150 years, the people of all the Bridgewaters came to this spot for their town meetings. The bell that hangs in the church presently has been made by the company owned by Paul Revere's grandson. So it's considered a Paul Revere bell.